What's up everybody, this is Sensei Today we are going to do three easy ways to break anything. Your hand, a board, a brick, china. So you need to have focus, you need to have follow through, and you need to have technique. Not necessarily in that order. You have to make sure you have a really good, sturdy, supportive board holder. So I brought today my really sturdy, supportive board holder. He, his nickname is the oak tree. He never moves, he's solid, he's solid as a rock. So the first thing you're gonna need <laughs> is a really supportive board holder. Keep going, get back over here. You need to make sure that they really lock their arms out and be sturdy for you when they break the boards. You wanna make sure that you choose pine. Uh, it's about inch thick. They go anywhere from six inches wide, to eight inches wide, to 10 to 12. You wanna try and find some uh, that have a nice smooth grain, not really heavy, a little light. You don't wanna find any with knots in it because that's not what you wanna look for. Right. And You want to make sure that you're holding it correctly. One, one hand on top, one hand on the bottom is going to be the sturdy, best way to hold the board before it to break. First work on that technique. So let's say we're going to do, let's say something like a punch, right? So I want to practice my really good technique. I'm practicing my, my body weight. I'm pushing with my back leg, pushing. And I really want to use all my body weight and I want to fall all the, all the way through with it. So every time you go for it, uh, you're going to get this really good wind up and solid and you're really going to, you're, you're really going to, um, really going to just, you want to have that real good power, right? So you want to make sure you're hitting as hard as you possibly can. So you wind up, you get your run, and you just uh, so you hit it really, 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 really hard like that, um, so that you uh, so you really condition those knuckles. Uh, can we get a softer one? This is actually the one we want to use. Uh, this is uh, this that was um, the wrong that was oak, uh, red oak, maybe a, a birch, uh, something like that. So this is a uh, uh, it's a rich maho it's a rich mahogany. I was informed uh, by. Um, my, uh, my woodologist over here. So when we practice our follow through, we wanna make sure, we wanna pretend like we're hitting through the board into the person. So we, I don't wanna think about hitting the board, I wanna think about hitting this person behind the board. That's the most important part. The focus that we're gonna be doing is we wanna make sure that we hit dead center on the board. So every time uh, I wanna make sure that I have my, uh, my good stuff here and um, I, I think about all the training that I've done and practice and all that good stuff. And uh, you know, I have all, everything that I need to break that board with that punch. When I get ready to break the board, I wanna get my mind set and I'm ready to go and I know the board is there and I get my technique and I feel one with the board break and I wanna go, oh, yeah, I th oh, you okay? Careful when you're doing punches because I've been training for about you know, 20, almost 30 years now and, uh, and I, know, I know my stuff. So you wanna make sure that you don't try this at home without supervision. That one, two, and uh, oh, it's like, See, every now, I, I want to, I test it out first. I want to make sure that the board is really solid. So that, that was my, my test run. Uh, the, this'll, this'll be the one, is this pun? This'll be the one, that, that was the, the test. I do a one and a two and a three. That, that's, how, that's how we do that, okay. This'll for sure be the one right here. So it'll be the one, ready? We're gonna go on one, and on two, and on one. <laughs> that really hurts. This is, uh, this is, I don't want to, you know, we had, we had, this is spent for kids later uh, for the birthday party, so we're trying to, try to save this point. We, we condition our knuckles that way, so that's, that's how we do it here. That's right, tell them, we do, we do that here. That's, that's how we do it. A few moments later. Because sometimes with tougher boards, you gotta, uh, you really gotta give it your all, you know? So, here we go. Count with me. One, two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, the purpose of this video was just to have a little bit of fun. Hope you guys didn't take it too seriously. And it was to mainly announce the winner of the board break challenge that we had this week. So I asked my students to find a cool spot, come up with a cool board break, to break the board, video it, and put it on Instagram and on Facebook. And we had a, a bunch of students enter. We sold about 60 something boards and it was a whole lot of fun. And out of all the ones we chose, there's some really, really good ones in there. But the winner for this board break challenge is going to be the one and only Dylan Milne. The board break that he did, the reason why I chose him is because it was a really unique, really cool board break. And it was a pretty cool trick shot. Uh, so congratulations, Dylan. He's gonna get two free merch items. Uh, I designed some new merch, three new designs. Nobody has seen him yet, so he's gonna be the first one to see him. So I hope that you enjoy it. Thanks a lot, for participating thank you students for participating if you guys want to check out some of the board breaks go to the instagram and look up the hashtag kicking it bts congratulations to you dylan thank you guys so much for watching tongue soon this is the field goal board break